Ooh, what an ordeal. I think between the storms yesterday, the day before, and the technical issues today, we have finally arrived at a point where I do not want to even attempt story today. I'd like to do something kind of in parallel to the story. So last time we left off right after the Ocean Palace. But I want to see how hard the final boss is. Since I don't think I've ever beaten this boss legitimately. I don't remember if I told this story on stream or not. Definitely not during Chrono Trigger. But the only time I beat this boss was I got a used copy of the SNES game a long time ago. And I had access to New Game Plus. <laughs> And that was the only time I fought Lavos. I don't think in my normal playthroughs I've ever attempted to fight Lavos seriously. So I'm curious how hard this is going to be. Though I will I will say I did level off stream because I had very inconsistent power. And let me tell you, chat, I was in for a super rude awakening, not on Lavos, but on a but on a stupid boss at the end of time. Where I went, okay, if I can't survive this boss, there's no way I'm beating Lavos. Like, that was pretty much it. I went to do this boss chat. I am so glad I did not stream it. I got cheesed so hard in that boss fight. I got so annoyed. So I basically wrote down that boss's patterns. So we're going to have fun with that when we have uh, an honest attempt to do that on stream. Because our other file has not fought the other thing at the end of time. But I'm letting you know, chat, man, that boss was really annoying for characters with low magic defense. And speaking of low magic defense, I learned the hard way how badly I needed magic defense because I got absolutely one shot by that boss. And I was like, oh, that's not a good sign if I want to kill Lavos. If something is one shotting me, I'm not ready for Lavos. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open up post beating that boss. I'm going to save the struggle. <laughs> I'm going to call it the struggle for uh, our real playthrough at some point. Yeah, I mean, like, I have a couple of save states I did while I was in the middle of testing, so I might just jump to those just to show how big of a difference magic defense is. But I want to be really clear. I went from taking, like, 1,400 damage, which is higher than your max possible health, to, like, 800 with just like 15 points of magic defense. Like magic defense scaling was way more intense than anything I imagined. So yeah, I needed to hard level to, to not die to that attack. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, once, once I didn't die instantly to it, I could actually do the boss battle. Also cute that that boss had insta-kill. Needless to say, I was very upset on some of my early attempts when I came across that. But anyway, I think we're good to go. I think this is the correct file. If not, I'll just reload something. Yeah, that looks correct. So we ended at around level 38, level 39. I did a save right before we did the golems. Because I just want to show a quick stat comparison so chat understands how much the stats matter in this game. If you recall from last session, we were at... We took basically insta-death amounts of health from the super form of Ocean Palace boss. I'm going to show our magic defense. So right now we have 62, 57, and 50. This 50 was a big problem. I could not physically survive with Clank at all in like any, any of the lead-in into that super boss. So I was like, hold on. <laughs> let's, let's go see what it's like after the level up. Because afterwards I was like, hey, I'm no longer getting one shot. Maybe I could go beat the other boss now because I can't really handle no no haste and getting one shot simultaneously. That that was a bit much. So anyway, we <laughs> the difference in health is astronomical between these two files. And honestly, it really did not take me that long. Like sadly, like it there's a difference of about 2 hours and I'm telling you right now, 30 minutes of that was flub boss attempts. That was not from XP grinding. I was just Ooh, I was like, okay, let me find out what the order of the spells are on this dumb other boss. So yeah, it looks like a lot of time, but it was more, more realistically about an hour 20. It, it was surprisingly fast to level. Like, basically every five to eight encounters always leveled somebody. And there's a section of stairs in Ocean Palace where if I just go to the bottom and then go to the top, it's eight encounters. So every time I do a lap, someone levels. 
Sometimes a little more than that. That actually did not take that long, especially with Twister. Once I got exactly 80 MP, I could shelter at the bottom of the stairs. So it actually got really quick once uh, Chi Chi got to 84. But anyway, let's showcase the magic defense now. So I was 62, went to 77. She is 77. I have, I have Clank at 77. Listen, chat. <laughs> I am not getting cheesed out by magic damage at this point in time. So one thing I am glad I did not sell was the Dark Mail, and I'm leaving the Barrier Ring on him. I would like for it to be a speed up. Later on, I don't think this will matter when we go to fight this quote unquote for real in the main playthrough. But for my purposes, if he doesn't have this, he doesn't live. Like, it's just that simple. I, I tried beating it at level 47, that optional boss. I still got one shot. Even with this setup, I still got one shot. I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. So anyway, I finally beat it, and that allowed me to get a speed capsule, which I hopefully have used. I can't tell if I got it or not. I probably should have denoted what my speed was on Clank before. Please tell me I do not need to do that boss again. Alright, we're gonna reset real quick. I should be plus one speed capsule. That's the reason I wanted to do that boss. And the other thing I got from beating that boss was 10 elixirs. Actually, I probably should have just checked my elixirs. That would have been faster. But we've committed now. So I just want to make sure I do not have to do that awful boss again. Because that was very rough with a team that is not a magic defense. It was terrible. Okay. Okay, I think that's a good sign. Because that means he's at... 10 base speed. And I had more than that. Okay, I think that I think that's good. So the reason I wanted to get the speed capsule is that I just want to have safety heals. If I can always guarantee a heal every attack, Plank basically out heals the bosses for the most part. I don't know if that'll be true for Lavos. Um, and the other thing I want to talk about is items I picked up. Perfect. So he's at 12 speed. That's good. I think I used two speed capsules, which is good. I'm like, listen, he he needed it, chat. He needed it. So the other thing I picked up, uh, 99 of everything. <laughs> it's like 32 Beneathers doesn't matter as much. Um, 44 Lathises. I might use this to boost my healing. Probably the most important part of this attempt is going to be the Barrier Sphere and Shield Sphere. So let's say the boss does roughly 900 damage to me. Uh, with its magic attack. If I can reduce this to 600, I could pretty much outheal it as long as it's not like really horribly outspeeding me. So I think once these are up, it's basically over. Although do note that if I die, these things do go away and it's per character, as I found out while fighting that other boss and feeling absolutely miserable. So I guess those barrier spheres were pretty useful. I don't know if shield sphere will really matter for our team. Like I'll throw it on at some point, but when we have like 190 something defense, I don't really think we're ever really going to die to physical unless I'm hit by magic first. So I'm not super worried about that. So here's my thought process. I left swallow on him because it's our strongest sword. Status immunity because of status immunity. I really like Red Plate here. I feel like a lot of bosses end up using fire attacks. I'm hoping Lavos does as well. If nothing else, it's still pretty high defense armor, so I'll take that if nothing else for resistances. And since I'm high enough level that I'm above 900 HP, I don't think getting another 80 HP matters at all. I think it matters more that I max my speed. That's my thought process there. Like, if, if I need an emergency heal a 16 speed will make much more of a difference than a 15 speed in the same scenario so if my healer is dead i need him back as quickly as possible so this is kind of my recovery from that and also because chi chi has enough health now that i don't need to use items to boost her health i'm hoping rage band will end up doing a lot of damage i did confirm off stream that level 48 is where crit chance becomes 30 percent so that was part of the reason for going to 48. Originally, I was going to do 45, but uh, yeah, that super boss <laughs> at the end of time was kind of having its way with my non-magic defense team, needless to say. So I needed some levels. And then I basically just have as much magic defense stacked as possible. So I'm hoping as we get further in the story, we should automatically get the benefits of essentially a barrier ring 
or Clank, and then Clank will be completely fine uh, for the end of the game normally. However, we're not at that point in the story yet. I did show... I did leave, like, good items on these characters just to showcase differently, like, where they are with their defenses. The problem with, like, Bulma and Piccolo at the moment is I think both of them will still die to, in one hit uh, to the bosses given how high the magic damage is. So they kind of have the inverse problem that Clank has, where magic attacks don't do anything to them, but they die instantly. And if I have to waste slots on 50% HP, I just don't think they have enough defense. Like, they need, like, at minimum, like, 160-something, I feel. So, like, 115, she's going to be taking, like, 800-plus, I think, on a physical attack. I don't think I can outheal the damage she takes there, even... Well, maybe with haste. Maybe. Maybe with haste. But it's one of those things where do I really want to give up status immunity for that? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, hopefully I don't ever have to do that horrible boss until I'm ready for it next time. So instead, we're just going to, I guess, stomp the beginning form. The only thing I did check is just to make sure if there was a break in between the outer shell and the inner shell, which will make more sense in a little bit. And there was. Otherwise, I don't know what Lavos does. <laughs> it's one of those things where it was like, I really don't want to fight like 14 faces and not get a save. Fortunately, the game is at least merciful enough to allow a save. So ideally, I'm going to first try. Realistically, probably going to take me a few tries because i got to learn what the boss does. But we were already at the point where we stomp bosses like Dark Gaia, which is about as hard as this phase is ever going to get. So we are very hilariously overpowered for the outer shell. I don't even fear this at all. I feel like almost every single phase of this will get one shot by Twister, minus the last two. So it's like, oh, remember this boss from the beginning of the game? Truly, you must devise new strategies in order to defeat it. And then meanwhile, I'm like... Bye. <laughs> it, it's already over, GG. Silly boss. Oh, speaking of which, since we're not at the hard part of the boss, there's something I should actually do to optimize my uh, performance here. So, so yeah, this boss, it, it's going to get stomped for at least like six phases in a row. So silly me, I was being unoptimal. Let me fix this real quick. You don't need magic defense when you're in this phase. You just need speed. The faster I can twist her, the faster it's over. Oh. Who is speed plus three? Oh, you do. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know I'm bad at finding items, but I'm not that bad. But anyway, it doesn't really matter here. So the faster I can triple technique, the, the faster the bosses die. Anyway, fight's over. I don't want to give the room... I don't want to give room for the boss to attack. Welcome, Chris. Uh, I'm just kind of curious where I have to be by the end of the game. If, if I'm feeling confident, we'll, we'll do another session after this and continue with the plot, but I've been having so many issues with the computer lately. We're checking up Lavos for finally drop Red Ring. Welcome, Murphy. Oh, thank you, Barkeep, for resubscribing. Oh, wait, hold on. I think this is the boss where I have to do something different. Hold on, Chad. I gotta use 1% of my power. Falcon Strike, get out of here. Is that, I think only half of the body will take dark damage. Yeah, this, this part of Lavos is just free. I, I don't have any worries about this phase at all. Burn some ethers. Is this a DPC plate motif? I have no idea. I don't listen to Dragon Ball. 
I'm gonna leave it to chat to decide. Oh wait, was that Magus? I hope that wasn't Magus. If it was, I, I wasted my time. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, good. Oh, it's this boss. Okay. <laughs> that's what I get for looking away. There's only one boss I have to kind of pay attention to, and that's Magus. The moment he becomes weak to electricity, I'm going to dunk him really hard. <laughs> so we're, I guess, technically at the mercy of RNG later. Naming after Dragon Ball characters, but not naming Robo Giro. Oh, I don't watch Dragon Ball. So you can blame chat if they didn't name something appropriately. Alright, so this is the boss I gotta do some lightning damage and then we dunk it. See, we're testing my memory of this. Actually... Oh, wrong... Wait, how did she... Wait, how did she outspeed? Wait, what? He's at 16 speed. Why was I giving her commands first? That made no sense. Silly game. Yeah, she... Yeah, that was... Speed is slightly random, indeed. I was like, what the heck was that? Yeah, that's fast enough. Ah, uh, okay. This is the one I have to vaguely pay attention, or else it could be here forever. Uh, I got enough mid ethers. So I don't think this matters. If I'm at the point where needing the other 20 is required, I've already lost. Alright, so I gotta bait his element into lightning. So we're, we're gonna just waste time until he decides to do what I want him to do. Anyway, remember when this boss did like 200 damage to us? Yeah, it's not going to do that anymore. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're so done. <laughs> you're so done, you don't even know. Here comes the damage. I also learned that, uh, Thunder Chomp is disappointingly bad. I'm not gonna bother with that. You Luminaire. Electrocute. You just stand by. Chi Chi, I don't need you in this fight at all. Oh, we skipped his end phase. Nice. Chi Chi being useless, at least in that fight. She's gonna hard carry with her uh, double, her dual tech though. Speaking of hard carry, I'm sure, I have my MP back. I would like to get carried by this MP. Sure, I'll waste an ether. I got 79 more, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be using elixirs in the final fight anyway. Doesn't really matter what I do here. Alright, so we're gonna start with a good old. Actually, should I twist her first? I don't know which does more damage to the companion on the left. Electrocute should help speed this up though. Oh, I should have used Twister. I couldn't remember if he had physical resistance or not. It's been a while since we fought him. I know he won't resist this though. Oh, well. Plunk. Yeah, this should kill him, and then we'll finally be able to hurt Lavos. Spin, spin! There we go. He has died.
hope she counterattacks here. This would save some time. Oh, she didn't counterattack. That's a shame. We should kill him before we get to two. Wow, Rage Fan RNG. Game, please. Where's the counter? Where, where's the 800 free damage on crit? Where's that at? Game let me down. Come on, hit once at least. Wow, act actually worst RNG? <laughs> really? I'm failing the 50-50? Okay. Whatever. I gotta do another attack then, I think. Oh. I don't think that counts as an attack. Barkeep, you are wrong because that happened in the first phase. 100%. <laughs> that saves a lot of time. I can crit for like 800 if she feels like it. She didn't feel like it though. Yeah, there's a lot of attacks that don't seem like they are, but they do. Yeah, it counts. It's really weird that it does, but it 100% does. That happened earlier in the playthrough. We just got really robbed. <laughs> I, I'm assuming it's 50%, but maybe, maybe it's a different odd. She failed... I think every single attack. I don't think I saw her counterattack that boss once. And it makes me like, did I remove it? No. It says 50%, allegedly. 50-50. Big sadness. Anyway, time to dunk on this boss. Hope too soon. That feeling when two out of three people have it, but I need a third person. Come on. I'm going to slow down the combat speed for when we're in a serious fight. Right now, we're not in serious fights. The odds of me dying are, like, negative percent. I, I would have to disconnect for, like, three solid minutes to die to this boss. Sorry, Lavos. Anyway, spin to win. Should be dead one more use, I think. But he will not get to do anything else. Oh, sorry, we're we're just a little shy. This should definitely kill though. Oh well, maybe if I leveled one more time, that would have killed. Goodbye, Lavos. Uh, I should probably eat her up. I'm not even gonna heal. I don't even think it's worth the time to menu. Let the boss do whatever it wants to try to do. There we go, finally. You're trying to confuse me, but it doesn't matter. I guess I could safety heal once here, in case it does the melee attack on my weaker character. I guess in theory it could kill me. Poor boss. I thought it was on the other character there. Oh, okay, so targeted Trunks. So I would not have died there. <laughs> that, because I was gonna say, if it targeted Clank, I'm like, maybe that'll kill. Maybe. His his defense is lower than Trunks, due to how I have him set up. So I think that would have killed him. Well, anyway, boss is dead. The outer shell, easy. I had no doubts we could do this part. This this is the part we. This is where we start getting into the. I don't really know if we'll win territory. 
Chi Chi says, Lavos lose. Chi Chi most strong. I detect an even more powerful life force within Lavos' shell. Chi Chi no lose. So anyway, we, we could do that at any time. We could even do that in the main playthrough. Although I think for the main playthrough, maybe it would be nice just to do it all at once. According to my sensors, we're close to the core. Lavo, smell gets strong. Um, I'm pretty sure I could do it right now. I, I could survive all the damage of the boss. I'm pretty sure. That other boss was such a good indicator. So I I'm sure I have enough. I'm I am sure I will not get one shot with it with this level. And that's all I care about. Cause I don't care if you could do it lower level. Cause I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not playing with your party. <laughs> I probably don't have what you use to survive it either. So I'll be like, cool story. But yeah, I think I'll just save over this. I don't have a reason to come back here. So, okay, so let me make sure my setup is complete. I need magic defense. Non-negotiable. You need to go to 77. So with 77 magic defense, the most I should take, I think, is around 800. Yeah, you did at 47, only one level lower. Not a huge difference. Yeah, I, as I said before, I think I probably could have done it at like 45 or 46. The problem is I wanted to do that bonus boss at the end of time. And that I could not do until Clank was 48, because even with this setup, he still died. <laughs> he died instantly. That boss is so dumb. Maybe maybe when we go back to the main playthrough, I'll show you the horror <laughs> when I went to go use it. And he was at his like sad little like 53 magic defense versus... uh. I think he did like 1300 to me. It was very silly. I was like, okay, if I can survive that, I have a good chance of beating this boss. So we're going to leave Rage Band on. I'm going to hope we have better RNG than what we had before. I'm going to leave Speed up on Headband. I'm going to slow the game down because I need to actually read what this boss is doing. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. It's still fast. But I do want to make sure that I can actually read whatever it's doing, since I have no idea what it's about to do. Um, yeah, I think we're good from here. The slightly slower text so I can read the text. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Also, I should probably save so I don't have to do that. So I'm imagining it's going to take me a couple tries. Because there's uh, a few phases still to deal with. Look out, chat. It's perfect cell. I think that's the correct DBZ reference. Amazing. It possesses the DNA of every organism that has ever dwelt on this planet. Isn't that isn't that actually what happens in cell and DBZ? Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Chi Chi, no lose. Alright, so here's the moment of truth. Do I die in one hit? Survey says. I did not die in one hit. I took 700 plus, so that tells me that was a magic attack, by the way. Hi, right, we're out of kill range. Welcome, Calvisham. If I could just get these barrier shields up, I think I'll be in a good position. I'm going to play it super safe, and then I'm going to go in next turn. I want you to barrier shield. Uh, pause your turn. I'm going to punish the boss for whatever it's going to do. Let's use Falcon Strike, start doing some damage. Okay, Core is not taking a lot of damage. That's the real one. Finally, thank you. Okay, it's gonna weaken me probably before a big attack, but I saved my heal just for this. So I'm at full health, so I can play very aggressive here. I 
damage. I take noticeably less damage. See, that's how I knew it was a magic attack. If I take 700 plus, there's only one thing that hurts this team. Countered. Get out of here. Right, I have enough bonus health that I could just keep attacking now. They should be about even in damage now. Because so I think she rage hit the left side, if I remember correctly. Here I greed for another melee hit. Ooh. I think I do. You can heal the main body all you want. I don't care about that. activated, <laughs> which also got him countered. Take that. <sighs> oh. I didn't see what it did. What is it doing? Low damage. There we go. I'm going to make sure this arm goes away. Arm went away. Okay. Let's spend some time ethering up. How many elixirs do I have? 15. I'm saving all 15 for the final phase. I know there's one more after this. I'm gonna use Ether now. Oh, wait, I don't have to worry about that later. Dark Will should hopefully not kill me. Oh, interesting. It got rid of her immunity. Yeah, I just noticed. That sucks. Uh, They got rid of the person that could get rid of it normally by themselves, which is kind of annoying. She has the kiss ability, which I think gets rid of it. So I think I took a little too long on the other arm. So I'm going to have to keep in mind that that is a thing that I might have to worry about in the final phase. Uh, let's high ether you. Actually, we'll mid ether. I'm going to keep my health topped up as much as I can. If I can enter the next phase at like near perfect stats, this would help a lot. Oh, if that hit, if that had hit trunks, oh, that did no damage. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll take that. Oh, okay. Again, I'm keeping my MP as high as I could keep it. Leia will not get punished. This is fire. Trunks is fine. Ooh, it's not. Nice counter. Alright, let, let's do a panic heal. I'm gonna make sure I don't die to that or something dumb. Okay. Parameter explaining the boss gimmick, but too late. We're gonna have to go forward. Um... Again, I'm not sure when it's gonna die, but I'm just gonna keep using Ether on myself. And then we'll have 15 elixirs and one mega elixir in case something goes wrong. Save some MP and just use Falcon Strike here. I'm gonna normal attack. Alright, so my MP is looking pretty solid for the most part. She got confused again, which is unfortunate. I noticed my magic reducers are gone. I 
don't think I want to stat up here, though. I think I just want to end this fight if I can. But she's confused, which is annoying. Let me frenzy. I don't want the boss to hit her real quick. Okay. If I'm at full health, I shouldn't get one shot. Let's conserve our items for the next phase. Still have an okay amount of MP on everybody. This might be good enough. Just gotta get there. Right. If, if the boss survives this, I'm going to MP up her. Nice, I got the healing. I was kind of hoping that would kill, save me some time. Oh well. There we go. So I ended with... Pretty much full HP and decent MP. Oh, this is the part I'm really not sure about. Let's figure out the gimmick in real time, chat. <laughs> that was Lavos's goal, storing and analyzing the genetic code of every creature on the planet. He aimed to use it to induce self-evolution into the ultimate form of life. His offensive capabilities are incalculable. My senses are overheating. Chi-Chi, no run. Hate lose. Hate run more. I was given life by human hands. What? But life is life. I'm no different from Bulma and the others. This planet is my home. Chi-Chi no lose. This Chi-Chi home. Not Lavos home. Lavos lose. Hey chat, real boss time. And you know it's a real boss. We get a theme. <sighs> it's the gimmick of this boss. Okay. Do I remember from 20 years ago what this boss's weakness was? I'm thinking. I have time to think about it. I remember this boss healing a million times. I'm pretty sure the middle form is not the real form. It's either the left or the right one. I'll know what- okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna know which one is the real one when I Falcon Strike. I don't remember if it's left or right. I'm gonna watch the damage dealt. You're the fake one, die. Okay. Alright, now we got an emergency stat up like right now. Counter attack, that's fine. So I did 12 to the real one. If chat wants to help me keep track of how much I'm doing, that would be very appreciated. Let's get some defense on. Punished. I'm gonna play it real safe. I need physical defense up, I think, as soon as possible. Because I could get hit by magic or physical, from what I remember. I would like to not get one shot if I can avoid it. Okay. Have HP, this is fine. Okay, this is the this is good. So the background, I think, determines what attack it's going to use on us. This is fine. So now I can play very aggressively for a little bit, while I still have some pretty good defenses across the board. The only thing I have to do is just make sure that my buffs never drop, and then we're good. Uh, I'm going to wait, actually, so I can Falcon Strike. If I do need to heal at any point, I'm just using Elixir to get MP and healing. If I kill the thing in the middle, that will also slow it down. I think I don't want this to do anything, so I'm going to rapid fire this.
I don't want to see that thing on the left do whatever it's trying to do. It needs to get out of here, chat. I can wound it while still delaying it. So the right one is going to be constantly reviving, which is what I wanted to do. Because now it's targetable. So I should have magic defense up, so this should not one-shot me. But this is why I got to be very careful with my MP and not get too greedy. Because if I mess that up, I am dead. 2200. We got a long way to go, chat. <laughs> I'm going to do... Come on. Do this. The middle one will eventually die, and that'll mean I'll stop getting attacked for quite some time. Um... Do I want to do anything with him? I'm going to rapid fire the middle one to maybe stop it from attacking. It might be dead soon. It's been eating a lot of thousands of damages. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take an elixir while we can. I'm gonna have to heal the party. Hopefully it does not hit me with a physical attack. Okay, kill the middle part. I'm going to... Okay, so none of my center characters have it. I'm gonna give it to Trunks. I'm gonna just focus on damage now. We're gonna triple kick into Frenzy. I'm gonna use Elixir on Clank. So I'm trying to get in as much damage as possible. I think I have to use a multi-strike here. We're gonna Elixir Chi Chi because she's got lower health. Double stack. Barely not Frenzy. I'm gonna elixir him. Alright, everybody's healed. Alright, both parts are back. As long as the left part is dead, I think most of my problems are solved. But I, ha I have to kill it quick, or I'm in trouble. Because that thing will start healing and or doing status ailments, which I don't want to see, ever. Get out of here. So my barrier is still up. I have barrier protect. I don't have a barrier anymore on the robot, which is a little concerning. Uh, I'm gonna put it back on him right now while I have a chance. I think this will one-shot whoever it targets. Yeah. <clears throat> Fourteen hundred, huh? Put her out of kill range, hopefully. She <laughs> thirty forty with. She's gonna keep chipping at it every time it does that. Falcon Strike. I'm gonna heal her again, and then I'm gonna focus on some damage with Clank. Oh, if I waited a little bit. I think she's dead. That really sucks. I was like, one... Oh, it's just like a little too slow. Annoying. I need her alive. Yeah, that really sucked. I guess I could have Mega elixir there, but I want to save that for when it gets more untenable. I have to let the boss do whatever it's going to do here. We're going to do Raise into Heal Beam. Because that'll put everybody, except for Chi-Chi, out of kill range. Which is annoying that I'm in a loop right now, but I could break out of it with the Mega Elixir once. I'm a little worried because my barriers are going to start popping across the characters. So if they're not at full, they'll pretty much die instantly. I need it to just not do that attack once. So 
we, we have to go for Falcon Strike here. I don't want to see what this does, so I'm going to kill it right now. Okay. Okay, right, please don't die before you get the buff. I'm going to Elixir her. She's also not at full MP. Okay. Oh, game. Oh! Windows error! <laughs> Windows, no! <laughs> it said something about OneDrive. I'm like, Windows, now is not the time. I promise you. Okay. Um. Alright, so Barrier, Barrier, Protect. So, magic damage. I don't think we'll kill Chrono. Could go for... This greedy. I, if I kill nothing in the middle, it'll stop hitting me. I do need to make some progress. Who does not have magic resistance? Chrono? Let's put it on him. Lowered its defense again. Perfect. Punish. Thank you, Rage. <laughs> Thank you, Rage. I think I elixir now. Build the middle, so it can't attack me at all. Let's do as much as we can here. Elixir on Trunks. I have one Mega Elixir just in case. I'm going to just keep going in. I think this turn I'm going to just tell myself to attack. It has to be getting close. If it revives the pot, I have to kill the thing on the left. I if it If it debuffs me in any way, like slow or anything else, it's just over. Almost dead. I'm gonna try attacking it while its defense is low. Maybe this will kill it. Yes! Oh! Get out of here. Anyway, this is what could have happened in the other playthrough. It was 30,000. I believe it. That took forever. Yeah, by attacking the mid piece, it, it attacked a lot less and it let me get a lot of momentum. But technically, we beat the game. <laughs> Let's enjoy our ending, question mark. How ominous. Meanwhile, Frog looking at the Magus statue. I just did left piece, right piece. Yeah, the problem is, like, I think without haste, if I start getting hit by damage and then if I get, like, status immunity cleared, it's just kind of over. So I, I, I took no risks. I don't care about it being slower. So I just did as much damage as I could to everything. So good. We didn't ever get to see what the left piece does, other than heal and waste time. Presumably. Yeah, I figured it would be kind of interesting to try the boss before we get any of the super weapons.
Yeah, that makes sense with Frog Marley. I, I totally get that. Left peace with status immunity, revoke it. Yeah, if that happened, that would have been GG. If my party got confused, it's over. I'm not recovering from that. Or slowed. Which I think this boss can do. I vaguely recall that happening before. Slow would have been game over. I, I literally either have to use kiss or kill the character. There's, there's no in between. If that happens, GG. So I guess because we never met up with Magus, this is why we're seeing with this ending. The main story will continue his plotline, I suppose. There we go, chat. First time I have ever cleared that boss on a non-cheesed file. We did it. Party was fucked like... Yeah, you have a lot of healing. I mean, you basically have two healers in the party, and hopefully by that point you would have elixirs and other things. Sadly, no haste helm for me. Oh no, the she's bad at cooking. Isn't that funny? That existed in the SNES era. Some, some things never change, I suppose. History is a change, let it change. The world is to be destroyed, so be it. I must vanish from existence to see this done. Then I shall welcome that fate. I'm coming, Lavos. I do not regret getting that speed capsule. That let me make some decisions because I wasn't like super desperate to heal every turn. I was able to slip in some damage thanks to actually being able to hold it. Yeah, if I did that at 10 speed, that would have been like nightmare tier. I think it just goes back to the main screen. More credits. I guess that was the we forgot Magus sending question mark. I'm sure they all have official names. I mean, technically in the timeline, we never had him reveal himself question mark. Yeah, the other reason I thought it would be interesting to do it now is that, you know, we're fairly strong, but not, like, broken. I do recall in, like, the later parts of the game, especially with the DS items, uh, our damage is gonna be stupid. <laughs> like, like, if I'm not hitting 9999 basically at the end of the game, I did something wrong. So I figured while the boss was still a semi-legitimate boss, we'd give it a shot. I don't feel like I like super over leveled or anything. I'm not even at 999 HP. Because later on, I guarantee you, I could just single tech kill like all those components. Like I think the thing on the left on Lavos' final stage had, I think about 2000 or like 2200 based off the damage we were doing. It's not a lot. So if we even get any weapon that's like 30, 40 points higher in attack, I'm pretty sure that just one shots, especially with Frenzy. So then I would just completely ignore the boss damage. So yeah, I guess if the left part never gets to do anything. I guess the middle part might not be too bad. I guess if we try it again, I could try that strategy. 
Technically, I just want to see how difficult the Ocean Palace boss is. Since at level 40, we'd almost survive it. So I imagine if we were like 45, we would survive the shell portion. I don't think we could beat Lavos at 45 with this team. I I've seen the magic damage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Clank would die instantly. I mean, think about it this way, Chad. We were taking 787 damage and 20 magic defense prior to that, I think, is 1400. So, no. If I'm only getting one or two magic defense a level, I I'm pretty sure I would be dead. <laughs> Especially with sub-800 health. There's no way I'm surviving that at, like, 41 with him. Or even 43, honestly. I could see maybe 40, 45 on that boss, maybe. I'm glad I did not come below 45, though, for sure. I needed that magic defense. Hmm. I don't know what's happening. Maybe this is a DS thing. We're going to worry about that later. I, I don't want to show that content. Clear count one. You've completed the game. You can now vi visit the dimensional vortex. Ending number 11 with the Prophet Seeks. Oh, so they do have... Okay, so they do have official names. New option added to extra menus. Ending log. Save game. Sure. Overwrite existing save data. Sure. Are you not going to let me save in another slot? That's actually really annoying. Uh, I don't want to start the game over. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. I thought it was going to let me choose a slot. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a save state because I don't think this is going to do what I want it to do. Sorry about that. <laughs> I want to be able to go backwards from here. If I'm, I guess I can see what happens if I do this, but if it forces me to do that, I'm reloading that save. Because I would have liked to save clear and then my original file. If I hit no. Oh, then I just go in a big loop. Alright, so what would this do? Is this starting the game over or did you save where I am? Okay. Question mark. Did you use my items? You did not. Okay. Okay, then there's no downside. I was worried I would have to do potentially another boss without elixirs or whatever. But anyway. I love how the heartbeat doesn't play. Well, too late now, I'm leaving. <laughs> right, chat? Oops. Yeah, we're, we're not going to bother getting all the endings in Chrono Trigger. I'll be real with you, chat. This is as close to bonus endings as you're going to get in my playthrough. So anyway, um, we just casually beat the game. I might as well just save again. I guess we'll go see how hard the other form of it is. Now, sadly, because I wasn't putting the other characters in the main party, their levels are hilariously far behind, and also they have no techs. So even if I wanted to use these characters, they have, like, nothing unlocked. You don't even have Cure 2. So sad, chat. So sad. Um... How much do I need to level? 7,000 is about one trip down the stairs. Is it worth leveling? Maybe not. I guess I could just try to beat it as is, out of curiosity. I'd prefer not to make this our main playthrough save, just because I am, like, level 48. I'd like I'd like some challenge to go back into the game. Like, that's definitely over-level for the story, but the right level for the beating the game. So we'll go back down to level 39 when we go back to our official playthrough. So goodbye, an hour and a half of grinding, and then 30 minutes of misery on that other boss. I'm gonna say that went much better than the end of time boss. Because that boss only does magic attacks and makes me sad. You can imagine me trying to do like the absorb elements on a character with like 60 magic defense. 
I'm like, why am I taking 900 damage every turn? What's happening? Oh, by sadness. Though, I guess... We could just see how hard the outer shell is. I'm assuming only the outer shell is the empowered part. I'm not even sure if we have to beat all the phases. But we'll find out, I guess. That sound effect is atrocious, chat. I would just like to state that on the record. Is it like so high pitched? And then sadly, we're gonna have to listen to it again when I go into the Zeal Palace. thinking about it, if I want to take one more level just to speed up the final boss fight more than anything else. So we've already proof of concept we could beat the boss. I'd like to apologize for this very long and loud sound effect. Why, Chrono Trigger? Why? Thank you. Oh, my eyes. Let's steal more resists. I guess I probably should... I gotta deal with the outer shell. I did run... Did you seriously miss? I'd like to steal multiple bit. Seriously? I'd like to steal multiple barriers just because the outer form is more likely to burn at least three of them. I'd like to get some more shield and barriers just in case. If she misses again, I swear. Okay. Don't say fills with gratitude. Okay, good. Got a shield smear. And then we could steal from the other ones just to get a couple. I think the red one has what I want. Now you could just perish. So anyway, if I if I think the outer form is doing insane physical damage, we at least have some backups there. Um... Oops. I did that one. Sure. I mean, I could ignore the guy in the middle. I don't think he could do anything to me at all. He's welcome to try. I don't think it matters. Also, that's... N I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on. Really? I'm not gonna lie. Them being Chrono followed by Isla followed by Robo, but their position on the screen not being that is really throwing me off. <laughs> Like, Chrono's in the middle, Robo's on the left, Isla's on the right. My brain had to think about that when it came up to their turn. Alright, one more chance at a Red Scouter without wasting a million years trying to steal from it. I guess in a way I'm setting myself up to level one more time with Chrono if I feel like it. Come on. Give me one more magic barrier, because we did almost run out before, to be fair. I swear the game is trolling me with this enemy placement, or character placement. Seriously? Yeah. Rip. <laughs> so much for getting more magic defense ups. Whatever. If it's going to do that to me, I'm just going to kill them. Sadly, they only drop it uh, from charm versus, like, on death. 
But technically, if I fight the other enemies going down the stairs, I could get those lapises for emergency healing. It's essentially one of those plus heal beam equals I'm alive. Because most things will not do more than 650 when I have my barriers up. Speaking of lapis. Wait. Wait, are you making me redo the whole dungeon because I left? And I turned off the game in between. We we already did this. What? Unless I have to go this way to make progress. Oh, I have to go this way. Okay, I was gonna say, I better not have to do anything there. Oh, actually, that was a red one. Let's go back for that one. Come back to me. I want your item. Yeah, I was like, I know I had to go downwards. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, can you please steal this? Can you stop trolling? I'd feel better if we had just one. Thank you. I think I had three last time when I beat the boss, so having one more is okay. I feel like the outer shell is more likely to hit me with physical attacks than magic. So I might be using my physical defense ups first. Although I think it's Reign of Death is magic defense. Based off of the damage it does to the party. Sadly, I can't just go through here. That would be too convenient. So we have to fight the elevator enemies. So I think no matter what, I might as well just take this level on the way down. I could in theory skip it, but I'm like... It's a free level at this point. Yeah, so I'm gonna fight four fights. So that'll average about 5,000. So Trunks will level. Robo will not level. Well, no, because I don't think each of I think they're worth about 1300 on average. I don't think they're worth 1400 on average. I'll top off with ethers because they don't matter. Oh, my ethers are gone because I did the other fight. And that's fine. I don't really need a whole bunch of them. So these things don't have anything worth stealing, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill them real quick. So sure, I'll take an extra level on Trunks, which will still help if I gotta refight all of Lavos. A little bit of extra defense. A little bit more damage on Frenzy. Got my Lapis back that I used earlier, so I think I'm back up to 45. Oh, Twister. You're something else. But anyway, this is what you missed before. This was just me running up and down the stairs. Doing, like, my best Final Fantasy VII impression. Just taking the stairs over and over. Yeah, see, that one was under 1,400. But, on average, it should be above 4,800 XP. Oh, they got to attack once. I should have put Robo with the speed booster. Oh well. What I get for leaving Magic Bearer on him in casual gameplay. The next one should level Trunks. Which is good. He does technically have the lowest health by quite a bit. But his defenses are going to be the best compared to everybody once he gets this level. It would be nice if Clank leveled, which I think is required because I gotta take the elevator fight. But Clank getting an extra level is probably good for me, too. Because he's another character where his defenses are very questionable anyway. Nice. I was gonna say the best part about this. I could steal from those. Oh, they're not here. Oh, why are they not here? Weird. I didn't kill them yet. 
But anyway, there's supposed to be like two tunneler monsters, the gins or whatever. So I might as well save the game again. Look at that. 10 extra health, chat. I did it. Let's see how much defense he actually got from that. The one extra magic defense and I think one physical defense. Okay. We'll take that, chat. I mean, listen. It just, he'll, he, he may or may not need it on Ocean Palace Lavos. Anyway, here's where Clank is going to level because I have to fight these. We're going to go ahead and Falcon Strike. Robo Tackle. If it gets a kill. If not, I won't bother next time. Yeah, that's not good enough. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and just clean up with Falcon Strike here. Falcon Strike is so good to us, chat. There we go, Clank leveled. More defense for him. Speaking of which, what is his magic defense at now? 78. Alright, so he's technically on par with uh, Trunks for now. After equipping him with plus 15 from items. You know, that's fun. I do love that Chi Chi's raw attack power is at 205. I think it caps at 255. She's almost at max damage. And then eventually she'll get her super weapon and then GG. AKA hitting max level. So we're gonna have to attack twice here because one of the I think Jin will survive instead of Ghoul Shield I think. Goodbye. Well, there's a good chance Chi Chi will level off of this. But at least their levels will be kept fairly close. You know what I mean, chat? That feels fair. So th this fight is forced. I don't think I could just escape from it. I could have very easily avoided the other ones if I wanted to, but I just wanted the XP. Yeah, we're seeing Trunks taking only 48 damage from the magic attack compared to uh, Chi Chi's 60. So even with just a one magic point difference, we're seeing 12 damage difference, even on a basic enemy. To give you an appreciation of how ridiculous the magic defense is in this game. Nice. Goodbye, enemies. This is bonus XP. I don't think Trunks is that close to leveling. Yeah, it's not bad. If it weren't for the cutscene, I'd probably use this for leveling more. I just find the stairs was a little faster. So yeah, so, so if we did another set up, set down of the steps, we would level again. And I think we'd also level again with Plank, but... Hopefully we should be good, Chad. We got a little, little extra HP. Plank almost at 999. Feeling pretty good. Did she get more magic defense than the others? No, she went about even with everybody. Also, she went from 205 attack to 211. Am I looking at that correctly? I think that was the number I said before she leveled, right, chat? Wow. What a what a jump <laughs> in damage. Also, her defense is now 190 and not 187. Yeah, she scales super, super well on level up. Okay. I mean, at this point, Ocean Lava should be doable. I don't think it's like too, too different. Now we have 12 of each, so I could afford to use three on each phase and then six on the final. I guess that should work. Uh, let's use a shelter. There we go, chat. We did it. <laughs> An extra 20 health, a little bit more buffer. 
more willing to try a new strategy, I suppose. We're gonna do our best mash impression, I guess. Since we already know what happens here. The game really making sure you save before that point. So hopefully with the extra magic defense, we're potentially negating somewhere between 12 and 60 damage. Because, I mean, we saw just one point on a normal enemy was 12 damage. You have to think about a boss who's two to three times stronger than that on a single hit. Which makes a difference when you have 20 more health as well. Which should just make our life much easier. So if you remember, this spa this form was very, very much empowered. We should take a massive amount of damage here, at least 700. Nice counterattack, thank you. We're gonna go ahead and... I guess try to... Physical up first? That already did the magic attack. And I'm gonna use Lapis. And I'm gonna use Cure Beam. Should hopefully protect our healer. We might heal for slightly more health, I'm not sure. So this will do low damage. This is the thing I'm not worried about. It's the follow-up attack that I'm worried about. Counter attack. We'll do another physical barrier. Alright, so that doesn't kill us instantly. That's important. Cool. Not gonna kill me, because I thought I would get a turn before then. It will not. Okay. I'll survive the follow-up if all it does is those three attacks over and over. That's fine. I should be able to outheal this. If it targets Trunks, Trunks could, in theory, die. Everybody else should be fine with Protect, though. So it's just being very aggressive here. Let's use... focus on doing damage now. Ooh, I didn't get a turn, so I'm like one speed too slow. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I thought I would be able to go in between. I think I can revive him this way. Yeah, he's back in the game. Kind of annoying. Yeah, without the ability to haste, I'm only gonna get like basically one attacker's worth. Although, the rage attacks will help a bit. <sighs> I mismenued, that caused me to get hit. And that caused her to die because I mismenued. That really sucks. Actually, really sucks. Stabilizing. Maybe I do have to do a speed up on him. I think him actually I think him being too slow is actually a problem here. But the question is, can he survive if I get rid of his 10 magic defense? I don't think he can. Alright, I'm gonna restart, because I think I'm at a point where I'm gonna loop with the boss. Annoying. Try again. Yeah, it's like, he's just like once, if he had one more speed, I would be able to out heal, but he's going like really slightly before me, which is a problem. 
because I, I need to consistently do it. So now we're going to see if I don't have 10 magic defense, can he even survive this? I think I need the speed up here. Because I don't care if he takes a lot of damage, just he can't get one shot. We're going to sit through this again. If not, I need to level one more time. <laughs> That's all it comes down to. Because otherwise I'm in kind of an annoying loop. Because once a character dies, it's over. I, I lose all momentum. If I can heal every single turn and only one character has to heal, I'm fine. And because the boss is using Confuse Spam, I don't think I could get away with Haste Helm there. Unless I had two people with Haste Helm and one person without. I think I would need at least one person to be always immune to Confuse. I'm hoping with this setup, I guess I could go for magic defense first, too, just to kind of lock it in. I hope I don't immediately fight the other forms with speed 3, or else I don't think Plank is going to survive. Also, I love that Trunks is at max response, but nobody else is. Good game. So we're gonna do just to stabilize we need to do this into this all right so it looked like he survived this might be fine so if every turn he's able to do that then we're fine I'm going to apply two more, and then we're going to go back on the offensive. Okay. I hope he survives this with barrier. I uh, barely. That's all that matters. Barely is the only thing that matters. Alright, now I can afford to be very aggressive. Because he's also out of confused kill range. So by the time I use the heal here, I should get another heal before the boss hits again. So we have broken out of the cycle by adjusting our equipment. Yeah, this is fine. And I'll get another opportunity to heal. Perfect. Wish I got more of the magic defense ups, but whatever. Oh, there we go. There's a crit. Yeah, that makes a huge difference, Chad. That three speed. Yeah, look how more look how much more consistent it is already. So now I can't die. GG. I could elixir him now. I guess I should. Really? You got two attacks back to back in the menu? Uh um, I don't think it was supposed to be able to do that, chat. I'm just gonna call that out. I feel like I got cheated there a little bit. What was that? Yeah, that was kind of cheap. I wasted a turn. So sadly here, I think I'm gonna die. Due to it skipping a move turn, which is really annoying that it did that. Alright, can you time Chi Chi's revive with the cure beam? Oh, never mind, it's over. Wow, that that actually literally stopped me from winning. Why did it attack so fast in between? Wow, that was just kind of unfortunate, chat. I don't feel like I did anything wrong. It just literally did two attacks back to back. I don't think there's anything I could do if it does that. What a cheater. 
mean, I could grind another level. I'd prefer not to have to do that. Is the problem more is Clang with the setup. He just doesn't have enough speed without hitting something later. I'll save again so I don't have to do that. So his magic defense is actually a problem. The 14 health from level doesn't really matter. It's more that he's choosing between taking 900 and all this other nonsense. Since he has to take the 5 magic defense from this to survive the other move. Unless... I mean, I could... I could try this, I guess. I mean, it's worth experimenting to see if he gets targeted, which one is overall more effective for him. I'm, I'm okay with experimenting, otherwise I'm just going to level him one more time. Because I think every other character is fine. They can survive two hits and a confuse and not die for the most part if they get one heal at any point in that cycle. Only Clank can survive that currently. So the question is... Can I mitigate enough damage with the magic down to make that extra defense worth it for when he gets hard targeted? Because if it just AoE spams magic, I don't think he dies in the prior equipment setup. This one he might. It's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, we, we got we got cheated, definitely. <laughs> what that attack just doing, he's like 800, now 600. Like, nobody's gonna survive that in my party if that happens again. Also, is my action speed reset? Huh. It did not do a lot of damage. Oh, and maybe it's physical damage then? Don't like that. I wasted time in the menu there. I'm gonna lap this just to make up for that. And go back on the offensive. Want to look? Um, no, I shouldn't be stingy. Just... Um, that should hopefully put me at a kill range of most of these attacks. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. Now we're taking way less. All right. So I thought the first attack was magic, but no, it just really is that high physical damage. So we should be good now. As long as I'm able to change equipment before the next phase, I think we're fine. Yeah, because now I can out-heal it no matter what it does here. Should be GG. Thank you, Barrier Sphere. Good thing we farmed, like, two additional of you. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a physical attack do that much. I think I got a little confused, but I should have been able to tell based off the ranging damage numbers that it should have been defense in hindsight. That's fine. Because he had the lowest defense compared to the other characters. Nice crit. And again, basically the higher level you go, the less you need to have like those magic defense boosts and you can just focus purely on offense. So me having like three speed does make a big difference, as you can see. Like I'm just completely out turning the enemy now. Like I'm probably going to get another turn before it attacks again, but I don't have anything to worry about. Nice attack.
And our weapons do do slightly more damage. Use another elixir on her now. Yeah, I didn't even use the Mega Elixir last time, so I should be good. Just keep in mind, that was my fail save. I have one fail save that I want to keep to the final phase. This is looking pretty good. Like, it, it feels like we're doing fine here. Thank you, Speed Plus 3. Yeah, her triple kick damage is just kind of... Eh. Okay, I guess. For how strong she is, it's kind of on the lower end, to be honest. That does no damage, who cares? Nice nice counter-attack for more damage. Making some progress. Yeah, the inner fight will definitely be easier. So if we do have to go all the way through to beat it, it won't be the worst thing in the world. Although I really need to make sure we have MP on trunks before I go too much further. Yeah, this protect up, put in the work chat. Thank you, protect up. Nice crit. Thank you, crit. Uh, why don't you mid ether him? He'll beam everybody. I guess I could high ether. I didn't really use any last time. I guess I shouldn't have been greedy there. Or stingy. I can afford to greed, I think. I still have 10 plus elixirs. I think I only use 6. In the entirety, rest of the fight. We're making pretty steady progress. We have two people attacking, one person on damage duty. Don't do that. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> I don't want to rule out my buffs. Honestly, I'm just going to wait. Still time. Well, I was getting bullied at every timeline, true. Yeah, I mean, maybe that extra magic defense is all he needs to survive now. If I can get away with speed plus three, that's kind of huge, chat. Just that before, he absolutely was not surviving the prior boss. I guess in theory I could have recorded the other boss, but it did not go well. I've lost track of how much damage we've done other than a lot. I mean, we're doing like what? About 2800 a turn? Yeah, Triple Kick's also, like, so much more expensive than Frenzy. It's, like, 8 more MP, but it's, like, barely doing 20% more damage, and her stats are much better than his. Well, there we go. Bonked him. Not awake enough to keep track? Yeah, he just got bonked. Lavos lose. Chi-Chi most strong. Uh-oh, they detect any more powerful life force within Lavos' shell? Would have seen it coming, chat. Oh, it even lets me save again? Oh, or, or is there no save? Or do the sensors are almost at the core? Lavo's smell gets strong. Oh, you gotta do this without a save? Oh, that's... That's kind of messed up, chat. I don't know if I like that. Like, you you will work for that developer's ending. Um, well, I was going to experiment to see what I could do to survive, but... I don't really want to save state and take away from the moment. I think I'm just going to go back to barrier ring. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have seen it, but it's like I my other save was overwritten already because the game forced me to save in the same slot. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but whatever. Um... I guess I'll manually heal. You don't even give me the decency of a shelter. 
screwed. You know what? I'll still make a save state. I would like to practice this for later. If this does not go well. Anyway, I'm going to just beat it with the same items we had before, hopefully. I have one extra level. So I'm hoping with the extra magic defense and a little bit more physical defense, this should be fine. Is there anything else I need to do here? Oh, I have turbo ethers. Oops. Yeah, I could be using those in place of high ethers. I mean, I don't have a reason to hold back or go for the other ending. We have 49 lapises. I might as well use one. So yeah, we just have overall just a little bit more health. So I guess we'll try. Yeah, I'm not a fan of games when they don't give you... I guess they didn't want you to save at a point where you wouldn't be able to go back. I guess is what the reason why they did that. I, I don't like it when it happens in games regardless of the reason, though. Like, let me soft lock. It's fine. Anything else I'm forgetting? No, I think everything's fine. Yeah, I wish they I wish they'd rather have booted me back to the end of time and that they just comment that like the events are replaying themselves. Let's see, is this version of the boss harder? Question mark. If not, we're fine. Oh no, Chad, it possesses the DNA of every organism. It's almost like we've seen that before. A moment of truth. Mm, looks about the same. We're in a lapis. We're going to magic defense up. Still beam. Okay, our healer is secure. Healer secure, chat. Is I get hit by physical? That sucks. Really? The double physical on him? I actually have to heal him there. That is really, really unfortunate. I don't want the boss doing anything here. I'm just gonna safety high potion. In case it does that dumb thing where it attacks in between my menus. Uh, let's go ahead and just magic barrier down. We should be good now. Uh, so we saw last time that this thing had more health than the other arm. Let's wound this a little bit. Oh, just so much damage, Jazz. Right, so if I need to, I'm gonna emergency heal. I think I'm gonna emergency heal. Yeah, this is why I have characters that are slightly faster, which is unfortunate. I won't need that when we go to fight this again, I think, in the future. Okay. I think we did enough to the one side. Counter the damage by using Heal Beam. Hope you're doing well, Nate. Wow, it only... It, wow, we're basically gonna do all that damage again. That's crazy. Look at it. It did 490. We heal 472. That's brutal on the boss chat. One more magic defense, and I think I actually outheal its damage entirely. Kind of embarrassing for the boss, really. You know what? We'll use Dino Tail. I've never shown this move off to chat before. Might as well show it. Look how little damage it does, chat. What? It is a move. <laughs> I was like... I got nothing better to do. I might as well show it. Um, an ether here. I don't know how we summon the dino. We we believe in ourselves, I guess. Alright, so we did significant damage to both arms. It should be dying pretty quickly. Let's speed up the damage process a little bit. And again, because we've been pumping him so many magic capsules, he actually does good damage. 
Well, we killed the one on the left first. Or, right first. That's awkward. Hopefully I go first? That's fine. That's also fine. Alright, let's focus on as much damage as I can. Do triple kick. I'm assuming that's the left arm. It looked a little weird there. Should not need that much more to kill, fortunately. There we go. Now at this point, I can kind of take my time. So I'm going to use a mid ether on GG. And then I'll just use high ether going forward. Flash elixirs. That did no damage. Good counterattack. I think our counterattack damage went from like 805 or 820 to 890. So her strength up did make a big difference for her counterattacks. I'd like to heal. There's a high ether on him. I guess I can move the health bar down here now. So I don't think it got its immunity thing off on me at all. So I think this boss is in big trouble. Poor boss. I guess I could afford to mid ether her. Aww, uh, targeted her instead of... Wow, that did 35, that's it. Oof. It's getting a little embarrassing for the boss. Alright, chat, just a, just a little bit right now. Lavo's actually getting bullied in real time. Okay, um... I mean, I'm just gonna keep pumping them full of MP. All I have to make sure is that... I'm gonna let it do one attack and then I'm gonna heal. Oh, I just noticed my buffs were off, which is kind of annoying. So I could be taking big damage here. Shouldn't die though. Yeah. Please don't kill the boss with that. That would make me so sad if that killed. All right, let's just reset real quick. Pull out this is. Ether on Trunks. I think her MP is looking pretty good. Her health is basically at full. I'd like to kill it right now if we could before it does anything else. So having like 50 plus MP is perfect. Versus using more barriers. That doesn't seem like a good use of time. I electrocute. I do want to try to kill the boss right now if I can. Nice. Okay. So we have enough to still one-shot the part on the left. I'm going to try what Imperimeter said earlier. Let's see if I ignore the middle for the most part, how we do. So we got a safety level. Hopefully that'll be good enough to survive that nonsense damage coming our way. Oh no, Chad, it was Lavos' goal. He aimed to induce self-evolution into the ultimate form of life. It's over 9,000, Chad. So no dialogue difference between this and the other parts of the game. Not that I really expected any. Alright, so I will still do the Falcon Strike. That this form doesn't look more like so. I still think I'll Falcon Strike because it hits all of them. I don't have to. I guess if I frenzy into triple kick, this should also kill. And then I can do magic resistance on himself. Let's 
I did get me like one extra turn. I would like to elixir when I can trunks. some protection against the boss now. We did about 1200. Take some damage. Yeah, I'm just worried about... I'm not worried about this attack. Like, a lot of its attacks are weaker. It's the Grand Moon or whatever it's called, and the, the Ultimate Magic and Ultimate Physical Attack. Those are the ones I'm worried about. I don't super care about its other moves. Yeah, because this literally heals half our health anyway, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and shield up our healer. it attacks. That's kind of annoying. Oh, I'm gonna have to heal this. Nice counterattack. Again, she might just kill the thing in the middle incidentally with counterattack damage, honestly. Hoping with cat attack this will do enough damage. It doesn't have to do a lot. Yeah, that should be enough. So the problem, I think, with focusing on the right is not a damage issue, it's more an MP issue at the moment. So I'm going to play it safe in case he does another AoE attack, because I think that will kill me. And then I'm going to Elixir Chi Chi's MP. We'll get there eventually. I could Luminaire. Let's Frenzy. Triple kick. There we go. Making sure we don't run out of MP later. Defense restored. But because it defense restored, I might as well as Falcon Strike it. See, in that scenario, I think it's okay to hit both. Because I'm waiting anyway. And now I can strike it. There we go. I'm going to keep my tech covered to get for the heal. Actually, you know what? I could just electrocute. Let's play aggressive. Mm, I was not punished. That means the thing in the middle might pop next time I have to hit it. I think that was a good use. Alright, let's get our TP back up. Use a high ether on Chi Chi. So, so far, the boss is actually attacking pretty not often. It's kind of surprising. A little unfortunate that it did that right as I targeted on the other side. It's not gonna kill now. I'm gonna have to electrocute here, which is gonna be a little risky, I think. How much is this gonna do? I'm play it safe. Hi. I'm gonna try using. Oh, do I wanna use Luminaire? I don't know if it absorbs magic. 
I don't really want to find out. <laughs> now is not the time for me to find that out. I'm going to use this opportunity to fix Hunks' MP. I think we're doing okay here. Do a quick check on the boss. If I kill the thing in the middle, we could just wail on it. It's taken a lot of damage at this point. It's not quite dead yet. Another 1500. So we're about halfway through the boss fight. I can kill the thing in the middle now. So I'm pretty sure it's taken over 7,000 damage. If I really want to, I think I could kill it. Alright, this is the attack I'm worried about. So I'm going to use a quick heal and then cure beam in that order. In fact, that might actually kill it. Yeah, you know, it's pretty close. use a Lapis and then Cure Beam and then continue onwards. We're taking the no risk strategy. So if it revives the other one and I Falcon Strike, it might just die. Defense restored. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Frenzy you then. You can't have that much health left. I've been shipping you out with annoying attacks. Somebody died. Wow. Rip. Hi. I'm gonna play safe here. We're gonna use barriers for a little bit. You are going to immediately elixir yourself so you don't die. You are now going to be rebarriered. I don't want to get hit by a magic attack and lose. It'd be a really dumb way to lose, chat. I would like to not die. Oh, is that a light attack? I didn't know. It got me right as I did a menu command again. That is so annoying, actually, that that happened. It's really close, but I don't want to risk it. Hopefully this does not heal it, or I'm going to be very sad. It did heal it. I wasn't sure. Unfortunate. Learning the hard way, because that's the first time I've had to use a spell on it to potentially kill while killing the other thing. Unfortunate. I don't think- I think we're fine. I just have to- I just have to attack, I think. Good counter. Please kill the thing in the middle. Uh, kill you. Just need one more hit. It's a shame she's out of MP. Oh no, that's what I didn't want it to do. Man. Okay, we're still fine for now. It's just annoying that that happened. It only did it to one teammate. So I still have barrier up. I need MP badly to finish this. I'm going to try to frenzy the thing on the right. Because I'm like totally out of MP. I'm using, I'm using Mega Elixir. I don't care what this is doing. Oh, now you kill him. Oh, wait. <laughs> I needed that earlier game. <laughs> okay, now please die. Oh, man. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's dead on the next one. This should be GG. Robo punch chat. Get out of here. Done. <laughs> I needed that earlier. Well, I guess counter attack damage did matter. I think we did like almost 3000 to it. We got at least three 800s on that middle piece. So it did help a little bit, but yeah. I needed to Falcon Strike when I did some of the single target attacks. That would have saved me more turns because then I didn't need to heal.
But yeah, GG. I guess this is the ending not intended for normal gameplay. So we should get something very special compared to what we saw earlier. What? Paizo Mamo says, what are you looking at, buddy? Trying to start something? Come on, bring it on. Hiroki Chiba says, 1-4, one, 1-4. Four, one, four. Come on, 1-4. No, I lost again. Ayoshi Masuda says, Kabuto and I have been practicing our anti-stress massages on each other instead of working. Shoulder massages. Shoulder. Good job. Reach the hardest ending. This is the Chrono Trigger development room. Take a walk around and hear what the team has to say. Hope you and all the staff who worked on the game took something from it and will continue to grow and prosper, no matter what the future holds in store. Come back to see me once you've completed your rounds. Oh, I can't go in the door. Oh. I, I instantly teleported into this area. Eiji Nakamura says, Congrats on finishing the game. I need you spend some time outside tomorrow. Damn, I got called out. Akiko Matsui says, What'd you think? Hope you had a good time. See you in another game. Uh, that'll be more relevant later on. Hey out there in TV land, how we doing today? It's me, Manuba Toshiba. Let's all buy games, okay? None of this renting and borrowing stuff. Minora Akao says, Ah, I love a good quest, don't you? Sorry, it's a bad makeup day for Takashi Takuida. Yoshi Yoshi says, Ah, oh, yes. Such a moving story in that 108th entry to the Kroto series. What? Oh no, this must be the wrong era. Dink. Atuko Itakura says, Did you figure out my Poyos of Dance attack? See you again in another game soon. Don't think you show up again. Janichi Okina Okiniwa? Can't even remember the last time I cut my hair. Look how long it is. Better get myself to a barber. Yeah, two, two and a half games, yeah. Hello. Mommy Kawaii says, Oops, did I forget to insert a few parts again? I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Jinichiro Hamasaka says, Just help the Chrono Trigger team a tiny bit. Good job, guys. Nasuyuki Hon says, This was my first project. Phew, was I ever nervous. What a relief it's over. Fumi Nakashima says, Did you see the little character animations of the world map, Ribbit? There's Luca reading a book, Chrono All in a Rush. Know what I'm talking about, Ribbit? I think we've only seen a handful of those. Because I do pause on occasion to take notes and see that happen. Haru Hiroyuki Ito says, <laughs> The Tyranno Lair? Yup, it's my bright idea to put the switch in the mouth. Sorry about that. Oops. Yasuhiko Kamada says, having 32 megs... Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. Hold on. Ooh. Strap in. Hold on to your chair. Having 32 megs means we could use a lot of graphics. And a lot of graphics means we could create a lot of graphics. Well, it was hard work, but it sure was fun. Oh, man. Who fan yourself down, chat. <laughs> Aname says, I'm just a map design noob, but my dad's a pro gamer. He pones noobs at the arcade. Is that what... Is that what the modern translation of that is? Okay. Yasunori Mitsuda says, Well now, it's my turn to set off a journey to see what the world holds in store. Or if I shall ever return. What is that in Deep Blue Donna? Yoshinori Ogora says, I'm just happy to have been able to work on this game. Peta Edo says, You want a buggy map repaired? 10 million gold ought to cover the cost. Ozuhiro is it? Yeah, Okawa says, Congratulations! Did you have a good time? Um, yeah, I think I think I did like a parameter strategy more, so thank you. Don't look for me, Hiroki Yamamoto, apparently. I think... I think if I had Falcon Strike two more times, it would have been helpful for what I was doing, but I guess based off of now fighting the boss twice, I'm guessing the middle has somewhere between 10,000 and 12,000 health. So if I had been counting that, I would have been known to pop it to just save my time. Oh well. Hiroshi Uchiyama says, That's a pretty good costume you got on there, kid. Wait, it's really you, isn't it? 
Sorry, I thought you were just some co cosplayer. Yusuke Noora says, How was the art? I had a blast working on it. Makoto Shimoda says, Boom! 999 damage! You do! Actually, no. We never did 999 damage in this playthrough. Tsutomu Tarada says, Oh, every coal that's gone around this year. Achoo! Hey, I know you've gotten strong, but don't... Achoo! Go pick it on my monsters now, you hear? Tenmoria says, I've been working 24 hours a day. Tenorita says, love was in the air. And then the engines cut out. <sighs> Azuo Suzuki says, I'm the consummate professional. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers, we haven't seen this character yet. Haruyuki Nishida says, hey, do you think there will be a sequel? Oh, yes. That'd be nice, huh? What if I say no? She <laughs> says that'd be nice either way, damn. Tenichi Nishi says, man, that was a long haul. I'm my first gray hair working on this game. Lost weight, too. I am a little sad. I did miss one optional dialogue that I know about. If you thought this was tough, you should get a load of Final Fantasy IV. Uh, I thought this game was a lot harder than Final Fantasy IV, but whatever, that's fine. At least if you're doing low level. Tetsuisha Higuchi says, Legendary programmer, 29. Seeks that special someone. Not quite hero material, but still the stuff of legend. Here for those cards and letters. Uh, what? Why am I- what? You better not- I was gonna say, you better not do any real damage to me at all. <laughs> like, okay, do you have anything charmable? Mid ether? Sure, you know what, chat? We got some time. That was super rude. I think we can all agree. I was like, I was like, why am I getting attacked after I beat the final boss? What? <laughs> Don't put me in one health. Don't do that. Excuse me. Don't do that. Bad. Uh, if it's nothing to give but gratitude, you can take a punch. Man, could you imagine if I game over? Actual rage quit. <laughs> like streams over chat. <laughs> this one is special. Oh, he had a dramatic death for some reason. Sure. Rip crawly. Did you miss? Him, please. I just want to see what they have. You made me fight them. I I want to have the courtesy of seeing what they have. Whatever. And perish. I gained experience. Well, I guess I'm not seeing what their dialogue is, because I killed them. <laughs> Unless they come back and I can talk to the other one before I do that. Like, can I do this? Shh, I'm in the middle of something good here. Hoshisaki Suzuki says, Ah, oh, so tired. But so hungry. One thing at a time. Alright, well, the no, avoid getting attacked again there. Kane Haruki says, Please feed me, I'm starving. Hakiyuki Antachi says, Well done. Why is there a shiny thing on the floor? So your Nomura says three, two, one. Reset. Just joke. You better be joking. I would have killed a man, Chad. You have no idea. <laughs> I would have made the front front page and everything. Luigi Ibe says, thanks for playing Chrono Trigger all the way to the end. Here, have a kiss to remember it by. Well, that's an animation. <laughs> like... It would have been over. I think we've seen all of them except for this one. Oji Sugimoto says, The Jet Bike Race Programmer's high score was 2110. Bet you can't beat that. Can or will? Like, I probably could. Do I want to? No. Tadahiro Usuda, Usuda says, Look closely and you'll appreciate the little details of the monsters. Like here, check out the shadow on this guy's sword. See it? It's nice that they have little details. Thanks for playing. Are you a girl? No. Did he get mad and slice at me? What if I say yes? 
and he falls backwards. Azumi Obayashi says, I've lost 22 pounds working on this game. Hirokatsu Sasaki says, Ever since I started growing out my hair, I've been getting a lot of attention from guys. I can't believe it. Okay. I think we've talked to everybody, unless I can... Oh, unless I, I can go over here. Otto says, no storm lasts forever. Even eternity must come to an end, I think. And I cause the evil... Okay, so I can't move around. This is automated. Just wanted to confirm. Anyway, back over here. Is there anything else to view? I don't think so. Yeah, we, we had minor spoilers. I definitely saw a character we have not met yet, because if we had, I would have been very happy. Oh, you could just walk over here. Hello. Yoshinori Katatsu says, There are more than ten different endings. Have you seen them all? The ending you get depends on when you challenge Lavos. Yeah, we're not seeing them all, chat. I'm just, I, I have been enjoying my time with the game. Do I enjoy it? Twelve endings much? I don't know about that. <laughs> Right, chat? I could be happy for the endings we've received so far. How's that? Better find the switch soon or it'll all go up in flames, says Kazuka. Uh, so I can't seem to go any further. Can I go downwards at all? No. Okay, maybe now I've seen everything. Okay, I'm assuming I have. I'm going to move on. Okay, book doesn't do anything. Good job. Done this, talk to me when you completed your rounds. Wait, but I did. What, what do you mean? I completed my rounds. What? Am I, am I in loop hell? Like, did, did I miss somebody and that's why we're not continuing? Do, do I gotta walk around the room in a circle? Is that what you want, old man? Why can I not go further? Hello? Who have I not talked to? Didn't I talk to everybody? I made- I reset the music in case that was doing something weird. Oh no, Chad. Have we been plot flagged in the ending of the game? <laughs> Help, I beat the game. Yeah, we talked to New earlier. I think. We talked to him from like here. Yeah, because he said, come on, bring it on. I don't know who we missed. We'll talk to you, because you talked about the shoulder massage. Oh no, Chad, do I need a strategy guide to escape the ending? What's happening? I talked to everybody. I talked to Magus, I talked to the statue, I talked to the bouncing creature. I went on all the portals, I thought. Yeah, like, we talked to this, there's nothing else I could do here. Is there somebody I forgot over here? <laughs> the soft lock door? I have been soft locked again. Was there something else in here I had to talk to? I could talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. What? I even read the letter? Like, what? <laughs> what am I missing? you a lot because you're Mama Kawaii. There's something else I could have done here? <laughs> we can't forget the 32 mags. We 100% we saw that person. Question mark? Because I, I imagine we have to get to a point where we could save the game because it saves your endings. Presumably. Because it said congrats on getting the hardest ending, but I haven't saved the game. Hmm. Like, are these? Can I- I can't talk to those. I'm mashing confirm, just to see if there's something I forgot somewhere. Who would have thought, chat? <laughs> could beat Lavos, could beat- I've empowered Lavos, but I can't beat the developer room. It's too powerful, chat. 
You promised to name this game Hoshino Trigger? Maybe I didn't talk to that person? Maybe? I don't remember the Hoshino Trigger. At least I did not voice it if I read it. Yeah, we're all done here. Are, are, can I be free? There we go. Oh, I think that's what it was. I think I missed one person, chat. Like, that's brutal. Well then, open the gates to the dream team. There we go. Kira Toriyama says, Hey, Sasuke, Kika, Pop's working on games too. Are you seeing this? Isn't this great? I know, we beat the door. Nobu Uematsu? I think that's the composer, right? Oh, so apparently I have nothing better to do than read this, is what he says backwards. Now run along and play, boys and girls. Yuji Hori says, wow, the years sure fly by. This game was released in 1995. Yet we're getting trolled in 2024. Kazuhuki Aeko says, guess what? I hit the 100,000 yen jackpot. Oh no. Nirenubu Sagaguchi says, boy, it used to be that I get thinner after each game. Now I'm gaining weight instead. Ugh, must be getting old. Congratulations on finishing the game. You're now a member of the Dream Team. Since you blew through the game so fast, we adjusted the credits to suit your style. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That That's actually funny. Put a trigger end. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was good. That was good. See, that held up well. That's the kind of humor I want to see. GG. Damn, we destroyed that ending. Oh, no save. Oh, because there's no cred You're credits wide open. Thank you, Nate's do, or excuse me, Nate SD00. See, the thing at the top did not do the capitalization correctly. Thank you for the follow. There we go. We got the uh, probably not often seen developer room. Yeah, they didn't speed these up. Yeah, the real troll. <laughs> I, I could skip it, but we'll let it play out again. So... Yeah, I mean, like... It was interesting that that boss was so physical defense. I thought it was actually magic defense at first, but... That was just me misunderstanding. So I'm not gonna blame the game for that at all. That was 100% on me. But I think otherwise, you know... 48 seemed like the right level for me. I, I, don't, I don't think 49 was needed. Unfortunately, because we weren't given a save, I would have liked to have experimented because I honestly didn't think I was going to first try the boss at 48, having not beaten it in, like, a long time. And even then, it was, like, a new game plus with, like, level 68 characters or whatever. So doing that with this with this save file was interesting. So technically, first real clears of the game ever? And not some cheesy, I show up at the fair and beat the game nonsense. We beat it not once, but twice. I'd be happy about that. Yeah, I think that went pretty smoothly. I was very surprised. I, I definitely am really happy I slowed down the combat speed just a little bit so I could read most of the text. Because <laughs> there was a lot happening. Like, if I had missed if it was doing half health or was doing more status ailments and things like that, that would have been bad. I think I only missed one attack between two battles, which one it was doing. So at least, even if I wasn't verbalizing it, I felt like I was able to follow it along. So I think while learning the bosses, I might keep the tech speed between 2 and 3. Battle speed, I think I can leave at 2 or 1. It just, if I overlevel, I'm just going to put it at 1, because there's no point in waiting. But we did see a couple times I got, uh... I do feel like I got cheated on that one, uh, Ocean Palace fight. <laughs> I do feel 100% I got cheated and got double hit for no reason. Because I don't even think I waited an entire bar. I think I waited even less than half a character bar. And I got out attacked somehow on uh, 15 speed. It was very silly. Actually, no, that might have been 12 speed at that time, but still. Rip. Could you imagine if someone's first ending was the programmer room? 
<laughs> like, like they were just determined not to have Kroto die and they just grinded it out. And then they learned, oops, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> There we go. We got all the all the animal friends. Player count number two. Ending number three, the dream project. Yay. Sure, we'll save the completion. Turn to title screen, sure. Wait. Why in the extras is it making me load a save file? Well, listen to that. The music. We can see all the moves that we've unlocked. We're unlocking things, question mark. So I could see what the items are that are dropped. Interesting. So I guess if you just really want to make sure whether you got everything or not. I guess that's neat. I will say there are a lot of features in this game. I don't know how much of this is specific to the DS. But it's interesting that the DS included this, if nothing else. Did we unlock all the music? Scroll manually and find out. Looks like it? Cool. Got a tat tat, it's Mitsuda chat. There's no way we've seen all the in game movies yet. <laughs> As you can see, chat, oops, we still have a bit of plot to go. Oops. Um, we could look at our VC area. We're 57% complete, although I think I missed some early enemies. Yeah, I don't know what number 14 was, for example. I'm, I dodged it early and forgot to fight it. It's probably in the cathedral, based off of where it is. Not a big deal, I'm not looking to 100% that. How many endings are there? 13. Listen, chat. <laughs> I'm having a good time, but I, I don't think I really want to fight the boss another eight times. I don't think so, chat. Image? Oh, this is like the ending image. Use right telepod to warp to Lavos immediately after starting New Game Plus. Spoilers the dream project! I only alluded to that earlier. Go to face Lavos without entering the gate at the tri Tyranno layer. Okay. These are just notes how we do this. Oh, were we not supposed to s Oh. Oh, we assumed we beat the game by doing New Game Plus. Oh, so we got the New Game Plus setting by defeating the harder fight. Oops. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's a thing, but we haven't seen that yet, actually. Yeah, it is po- well, I guess since the game spoiled it. Um, essentially for potentially a future April Fools, we might do a Chrono Trigger run where it's just beat the game as quickly as possible. Except it's New Game Plus, so we just immediately go to the Millennium Fair and go fight Lavos. <laughs> we don't do anything else, we don't even go back in time. But like, we're good. We got everything we need. Love how the monster screech is in the final battle music. Listen to this a little bit. I don't know, am I up for doing more after this? I mean, it'll be a very short plot thing if we do do it. Like how it goes left and right. Mmm. Yeah, you can hear it alternating with headset. A good final battle music. 
Anyway, enough of that music. So we have the whole arena thing. I don't know how much, if at all, I'm gonna touch the arena, to be honest with you. I think I like- I think I like the vanilla game with sprinkles. I don't know if I like the bonus content that is just its own standalone thing in the arena. I don't know, like, we'll, we'll come back to it at some point, but... I mean, I saw things where basically you have to train the monster to do things, and maybe it'll behave. That was one of my least favorite mechanics in, like, the Final Fantasy uh, VI specifically. I had something kind of similar to that, and I did not like that at all. So we'll, we'll show it at some point in its features, but I'm not looking forward to it, honestly. So Chan, why don't we take a little break here and we'll decide what to do. But let's let's give a little sign off for the people that just came for the boss fights. So how do we think things went? Again, I am very surprised. I thought we were going to have to reset on not the outer shell of Lavos, but on the final final form of Lavos. We managed to dodge some of the more awful things that Lavos can do. That's good, and the, but by the time we did get cursed once, it didn't matter, since the boss was almost dead. And we had one, exactly one panic mega elixir, which we did use. So it wasn't just like I was hoarding it and not using it, so it, it did actually get used in one of our fights. And I do feel like doing that optional boss, which we will see in the main playthrough at some point, uh, to get those ten elixirs was super crucial. Because I think there's three or four times between all the attempts where I wanted both the health and the MP. And obviously having something that full MPs you versus only 30 or 60 MP when we have a max of like 89 does also impact us not needing to heal as often. In particular if it's used on uh, trunks. So I think it was useful there. Because I think originally we only had five elixirs and we used on average like six or seven between all the phases. Though it did matter we had more than five. Um, yeah, I think from that standpoint, I'm happy with how things went. I thought this would take me at least another hour with retries, to be honest with you. I'll take it. <laughs> right, Chad? I'll, I'll take it. Like, okay. So with that, we're going to end this particular part. But I think, uh, I guess we'll continue a little bit of story. So stick around. We're going to go back to post-Ocean Palace. And we'll play with uh, Chat's team. So I guess going forward... If chat now wants me to play as other characters all together, we'll talk about it in between parts, but uh, yeah, I think it would technically be doable now. But anyway, so long YouTube, and I guess see you in the next part, depending on how this gets uploaded to YouTube.